10 Cloverfield Lane. Oh my god, this movie. Five stars. I'm giving it five stars. I saw it last night, rented it from Netflix, and it was better than I was expecting. It was spellbinding. It kept me. I didn't hardly, you know, get up at all during the movie. And usually during movies, I like to get up and get a snack or something or something to drink. But in this case, this movie was flawless. John Goodman's in it. I'm not going to say much about it because I want you guys to see it. And I'm definitely going to have my parents watch it with me because they would enjoy it too. I'll give you a little bit of the plot, but I'm not going to give the whole thing away. <clears throat> it's about... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this girl, this lady I should say, is having problems with her boyfriend. So she left and she's driving out driving somewhere. And she gets into a car accident and wakes up in this house. She has no idea why she's there or what's going on. She's in a hospital bed. <clears throat> but I'm not going to say anything more. I mean, it kind of sounds boring from, from what I just described, but it is not boring at all. It is exciting. It is tense. It's probably the best movie I've seen the la in the last, I'm just going to say, last five or six years, or maybe even last ten years. This movie is amazing, and I'm, I'm sad I didn't get to see it at the movie theater, but it was amazing. You guys got to see it. Ten Cloverfield Lane, five stars out of five. You just, all I can, I know I keep saying this, but it is just, you got to see it. There's been a lot of movies over the years that I've liked, but this movie just blew me away. And if you get a chance, you know, rent it from Redbox, Netflix, whatever, buy it. Just see it. Just see it. It's great. Enjoy.